first of all, first thing in the morning, huge lineup around the block, people waiting to get in. People are excited, they come with their rooms measured and uh, with a shopping list. They're looking for something, so people are here to buy. This all came about because we had decided that we wanted something new and vigorous to um, raise money for those in need. It has grown from, I think, five or seven juried artists to about 30 juried artists, and those change every year. The members of this group go actively looking for new artists every year. I think there's three new ones from Prince Edward County this year, which is wonderful. Sometimes we use photography or we show oils. Uh, there is jewelry making, some weavers, and sculpture. So there's a little something for everybody. We have filled five rooms of the church with all these artists and they come to show off their wares and to also show their personality because they're all very interesting people. And people come and meet you, speak with you, ask you questions about your work. We charge $10 for a ticket to get in with the purpose of this goes to our charities. The charities that we have are from beginning to end. We have mothers and children all the way to the Dorothy Lay Hospice. This is what they get. This is a bed kit. This was given to children in Kolkata, India. The Art Show has been helping us out for, for years and that we have been one of the, oh, there are so many local charities that are being assisted by, by the Art Show. Neighborhood event, everybody is happy. Um, children come, they see the work that is being done and they know that it's going beyond these four walls. So it's a win-win situation. <laughs>